Greetings out there in YouTube land from the planet Earth, right? Oh, man, it's a good laugh, you know what I mean? You gotta have a good laugh, right? His kids, right? Ten views, one of them mine, and 23 downs, right? I told people I posted some of my videos on, on the other site, and now they can do is watch. They can't nothing because of the instance I share. Come on, give me a break, right? I got all kinds of likes and comments over there for people. I sent it to a couple of people that I know really good, and they're going to watch. And then I can get some numbers there. But they'll watch it later. Some of them are different time zones and that, right? And the thing is, see, I can do the math because of the businesses I work in before, right? I can add math, right? Now, they can only watch. They can't put it on here, right? So that's, you can, that's why I get more views and comments and likes because they can't from the other site. I get that stuff on the other site where I'm posting it, right? But here, all they get some numbers. See, I'm not as dumb as some people think. I got some skills in two letters. I mean, come on, one, my ex has only got one PhD, okay? Only one. My daughter, she's got a law degree and she's a nurse. She's working for the VA because apparently too many American doctors and nurses were too lazy to work for the VA. And she felt pity for the wounded veterans that they ignored, gave, did some stuff for her thing. And the father of my granddaughter, uh, I believe it, he was a military guy anyway. Uh, he went over, I think he's supposed to go over to Afghanistan or something, but he I got killed before he got sent over. So, I, so my granddaughter had to grow up without a guy, dad there, and she's working for the VA. But the thing is, you know, they're going to get married, but you know, he had to go off to Afghanistan. I think it was Afghanistan or Iraq, it doesn't really matter. That was good, Afghanistan. But the thing is, you look at it that way. You know, she's doing her part, and, and you know, come on. And, and it's not, and she's living down in the States now, doing her part, helping American. Wounded veterans that everybody turned their back on. Oh, yeah, defend your country. Oh, you get hurt really bad. We don't know you. They got to pay over $100 for a parking ticket because the target is really terrible around the VA, any VA area. You can't even get parking with these poor people. They have a hard time getting in. Thank God that Trump's trying to fix things up, but things are that bad. These guys defended you, fought for your right to do the stuff you're doing, and you guys got have no shame. You won't even give them a place to park. They park, you put these ridiculous tickets that they can't afford. I've got a huge waiting line to get in there. Man, you don't think God notices that what you're doing? Oh yeah, here you, I need you now, but get lost later when when you get hurt. I know the feeling well, man. I was doing all crazy great thing, and a forklift hit me. I, you know, we walk on the floor looking around. The guy's not paying attention. He smacks you. You end up broken, disabled. You, you, nobody wants to hire you anymore, right? You, you're you're retired, man. Not by choice, because it's some idiot not paying attention, right? It costs you everything. And I was making way more money than a lot of you making now. That's 20 years ago. And that was a pay cut for me. I just wanted to do something different, I guess. I had my own company. I was three years after this again. I moved to Revenue Canada. I had my own little movie company. I wanted something different. I wanted to travel around a bit, right? Took some loads in Montreal just to see it. I liked doing it. I liked being, doing something, talking to people. I was having a blast, man. I was. But, you know, I got talked into it. You know how it goes, right? Benefits and all that. I listened, man. I should have stayed in my business. Everything would have been different, right? It was expanding. When the government calls you to do something, you know you're doing something good. And three years after you go close the business, still getting recommendation calls. You did something good. It's taking pride in your work, right? You're not being ashamed of what you do. Some of you don't know what that is. Some of you do. And I know some of the ones you, you know, we take pride. God's love is a hardworking man, man. You do right by God. He's got your back. And they know what I'm talking about, right? He riches people, blesses people in many ways. It all isn't monetary. I mean, there's so much more. Your treasure is truly in heaven. Because the worldly stuff can't go with you, man. Too many people are sadly in the running room. They're all voting themselves, right? That's the problem. You need to die in the self. And be reborn in Christ. You know, tells you they need to be born again. They don't. A lot of people don't understand what born again means. I know a lot of you do, but can you imagine a bunch of these other people don't have a clue what born again means? You need to be born again in Christ. What does that mean? It means you, the self is you, you, you. Those desires are gone. You don't live for the self. You live to serve Jesus. So how can you? You're not, when you're not born again, because you don't know Jesus. I mean, come on, man. You're trying to teach, right? But the haters hate, you know, they, they send cults in. But at least I'm doing one thing. Look, at, you know, look, at I got beautiful things. He's really good there. I like Ray. He doesn't do enough. He's got busy work. I got this person here. We finally talk about well, what you're doing right or not. They'll be calling her out, right? Now she's better fault. This is what they're doing exactly to me. They're talking about it, but they're talking out of the hate, you know? And so I'm hoping they don't actually do some scripture, not just her talking, right? Taking them, taking their work. But she's got that cult and with what's going on. Hey, but it wasn't just her I was talking about. But, you know, but she did something wrong. Instead of saying sorry, she brought a little thing on me. I do think I care. Honestly, care? Come on, man. What's, God is rocking your life. He actually talked to you and healed you. And I'm not the only one. It happens every day. You think I'm be scared of talking lips that don't do anything? Come on. I already know her fate. I just said, hey, man, get ready. We've got to just read from the Bible. I couldn't get the woman to read from the Bible. I call her out now. She's doing this thing, you know. 
And excuse me, it's high and mighty. God knows the people's hearts, man. He hears the venom from their tongues. When they send people to attack you and put dislikes and stuff on there, and when not that many people, come on, man. Do the math. One plus one equals two, right? And zero plus zero still equals zero unless you're working the negative numbers. You know what I mean? Come on. There's some kind of alternate reality out there. Maybe it's a crack or the witchcraft or whatever. I don't know. But a lot of pills out there because of memory loss, right? I'm going to leave that to you, right? But I know the time. I know the season. And I see, I, I can tell with a glance. I already talked to God about this stuff. Plus, I read the Bible. Anybody that's run the Bible already knows what's going on. God tells you the time and the season. Him, I only watch because he's funny, okay? But he does a couple of things. I don't even watch it once in a while, do. But I already knew this stuff. But this is old hat to me. He's talking about now hyperspace, hypersonic weapons. Man, those babies are thinking, you know, they, they got to go to space. Oh, man. It's old hat news, right? And look at the war in the Holy Land. Look at this. I know all this stuff, right? Recalls. I Look at the problems. They got that devil's games going on. I knew all this shit. And that's what it is because it, it, the Bible talks about it. You're not going to believe the living word of God saying this stuff is going to happen. Well, how can you, you know, come on, give me a break. But then again, those of us are standing in faith, no, uh, in faith, no, the other ones aren't. Sadly, they're lukewarm and they don't want to hear it. But that's it. God sent messengers out. God picks his messenger. He had to pick me out. I was dying anyway. Right? So what did it matter? I got a new life, man. He took my wife June 26th and he healed me March 12th. She couldn't handle the things to come. Too kind and a loving heart. But those with eyes to see and ears to hear know they read their Bible. They know it's coming, right? It ain't pretty. Because they know we're still dealing with Revelations uh, 6 verses 9 to 11 right now. It ain't over yet, right? Especially when they're cutting throats and stuff, right? Blowing up people, turkey, cut, you know, tackling with machetes and Bangladesh and other places. Where I happen to talk with people and minister to them, by the way. I don't sit around in a chat room 24 hours sitting and spinning on my thumb, acting holier than now because I'm not. I know I'm not. I'm just one of a planet full of servers that God has. Because Revelation 7 9, man, that's a huge body. No number no man can count, and then you ought to count to 200 million, then. Look at Job, man. He says, hey, the Pleiades, and he talks about Orion, man. They weren't as dumb as you people think, right? When he's talking to Job about it, right? But you guys are too lazy to read the Bible. Other minds, you might know that there's more going on in the game than you think. Those of us with eyes to see read the Bible. That's how you know this stuff. There's an army of us out there that no man can number. Standing tall for Jesus. You know how? Because it tells you they got white robes and palms in their hand. How did they get it? They earned it. They opened the book and read, man. You want salvation? Read the book. Then you know who you're talking to when you call upon the name of the Lord. You think you're just going to send your life away at the last second called Jesus? Oh, yeah, and you got to take it? No, it don't work like that. Uh uh uh. He told you, if you can't do simple math, do you want to be with me or not? It says cold or, uh, or hot, but I, I like it hot or cold, man, because I, I pick them one, and I want to be hot. I flipped it. Maybe something spell it wrong. I'm doing it my way. It's still there. Hot or cold, either one. Cold or hot, same thing. You take your pick, right? It's there. I tell you, uh, Revelations 3, I picked verses 13 down to 18, okay? But there's a couple of other spots. I want you to find them yourself, right? I put it out for you. If you can't figure out if you're hungry or thirsty. You know, if you're thirsty, yes or no. You want to drink water? Yeah, you say yes, right? You're hungry? Yes or no? You say yes if you're hungry, right? You can't figure out if you want to be with God. Come on. A foot in both sides, in both worlds, man? That's worse than Lot's wife. That's why you make God sick, right? But the cold, at least they had his courage to say, not not interested. He respects them more than you. Sitting there in a chat room pretending you're something, man. When the angel said, don't bow down to me and they could do stuff and you can't. So, <laughs> don't fear a person who can kill your body. And my brother says, you know, fear can kill your body and your soul, man. Only a fool messes with God. And when they think they can get away with mocking God like that, there's a price to be paid called riding a slide. Don't forget, the goats go to the left, the sheep go to the right, and they party with God while the goats ride the slide straight down, right? And yes, there is a place worse than hell, because after the millennial reign, it gets thrown into the lake of fire, and that's where Satan screams. So, yep, I'm not going on that trip. I'm going to party with the Lord on the wedding feast, right? And hopefully I see a lot of you there, so I know a lot of you, the brothers, are listening. I don't want to give call outs because, you know, these hackers and attackers do that stuff to you. Man, better, you know, if you want to, if you're brave enough to stand, you can, God said you're stand taller, you know. And I know a lot of you are. I'd like to check out some of your sites because I hear good things about some people, but I just don't need to draw any heat on people. But if you, if you the guy, you're going to use my videos for the uplifting of people and for Christ, you have my permission to use them. With all those haters who want to do negative stuff, nah, man, you don't have my permission. Then it's a copyright violation and illegally. I can have you arrested and whatever, and have your site shut down here for breaking whatever copyrights are. Cause it's mine. I got permission to those to let those others because that's the purpose. It's not about self. It's not about the messenger. It's about the message. And until you grow up and figure that out, and stop thinking of yourself and patting yourself on the back, man. 
You're not my brother and sister. It's the one who believe and read the word of God. And, and I got an army of them. A number that no man could count. Think about it. Crack open your Bible. It's your salvation right there because it introduces you to God, man. He's the real deal. Who he is. That way you know who you're calling on. Then he'll know you know who you're calling on and he'll hear you. Okay? So it tells you, man. What's a personal relationship? And you're never going to have that following a cult leader having you dance around in circles that ain't going to work. Okay? The healing just will never learn, right? Those tears are everywhere. Think about it and read your Bible today. Bye-bye.